we can achieve nothing without paying the price. Now, what is that price? Well, it's many things. First, it's understanding emotionally, as well as intellectually, that we literally become what we think about, that we must control our thoughts if we're to control our lives. It's understanding fully that, as ye sow, so shall ye reap. Secondly, it's cutting away all the fetters from the mind and permitting it to soar as it was divinely designed to do. It's the realization that your limitations are self-imposed and that the opportunities for you today are enormous beyond belief. It's rising above narrow-minded pettiness and prejudice. Thirdly, to use all your courage to force yourself to think positively on your own problem, to set a definite and clearly defined goal for yourself, to let your marvelous mind think about your goal from all possible angles, to let your imagination speculate freely upon many different possible solutions, to refuse to believe there are any circumstances sufficiently strong to defeat you in the accomplishment of your purpose, to act promptly and decisively when your course is clear, and to keep constantly aware of the fact that you are, at this moment, standing in the middle of your own acre of diamonds, as Russell Conwell used to point out. Fourth, save at least 10% of what you earn. It's also remembering that no matter what your present job, it has enormous possibilities if you're willing to pay the price. Now let's just go over the important points in the price each of us must pay to achieve the wonderful life that can be ours. It is, of course, worth any price. One, you will become what you think about. Two, remember the word imagination. Let your mind soar. Three, courage. Concentrate on your goal every day. Four, save 10% of what you earn. And action. Ideas are worthless unless we act on them. There are two things that may be said of everyone. Each of us wants something, and each of us is afraid of something. I want you to write on a card what it is you want more than anything else. It may be more money. Perhaps you'd like to double your income or make a specific amount of money. It may be a beautiful home. It may be success at your job. It may be a particular position in life. It could be a more harmonious family. Each of us wants something. Write down on your card specifically what it is that you want. Make sure it's a single goal and clearly defined. You needn't show it to anyone, but carry it with you so that you can look at it several times a day. Think about it in a cheerful, relaxed, positive way each morning when you get up, and immediately you have something to work for something to get out of bed for, something to live for. Look at it every chance you get during the day and just before going to bed at night. As you look at it, remember that you must become what you think about, and since you're thinking about your goal, you realize that soon it will be yours. In fact, it's yours really the moment you write it down and begin to think about it. Look at the abundance all around you as you go about your daily business. You have as much right to this abundance as any other living creature. It's yours for the asking. Now we come to the difficult part. Difficult because it means the formation of what is probably a brand new habit. And new habits are not easily formed. Once formed, however, it'll follow you for the rest of your life. Stop thinking about what it is you fear. Each time a fearful or negative thought comes into your consciousness... Replace it with a mental picture of your positive and worthwhile goal. There will come times when you will feel like giving up. It's easier for a human being to think negatively than positively. That's why only 5% is successful. You must begin now to place yourself in that group. For 30 days, you must take control of your mind. It will think only about what you permit it to think. Each day for this 30-day test, do more than you have to do. In addition to maintaining a cheerful, positive outlook, give of yourself more than you've ever done before. Do this knowing that your returns in life must be in direct proportion to what you give. The moment you decide on a goal to work toward, you're immediately a successful person. You're then in that rare and successful category of people who know where they're going. Out of every hundred people, you belong to the top five. Don't concern yourself too much with how you're going to achieve your goal, leave that completely to a power greater than yourself. All you have to do is know where you're going. The answers will come to you of their own accord. Ask, and it shall be given you. 
Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. It's as marvelous and as simple as that. In fact, it's so simple that in our seemingly complicated world, it's difficult for an adult to understand that all he needs is a purpose and faith. For 30 days, do your best.